Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review. This time of Pretty Little Liars Season 6. Now, this is a show that I both love and hate in equal measures. If you want to talk about how awesome the show is, I can talk again and again and again and again about what I love about it and what makes me keep tuning in, but at the same time, I'm no stranger to the glaring flaws of the show, and so I can't rant on it quite a bit, and so sometimes it's like, Josh, do you really like this show? Because holy shit, what's coming out of your mouth? And, yeah, it's... So anyway, season six. Now, for a little bit, like, for a long time, it's been, oh, there's no twin theory. You know, there's not going to be a twin, just ignore it. Now, for those of you who don't know what the twin theory refers to, in the Pretty Little Liars books, which I have not read and I probably won't read, no. and there's the whole thing is about twins. Uh, God damn it, the character's name, Allison. Allison had a twin. The twin got mad that Allison was living her life. And so, yeah, the twin is who caused the problems. And so for a long time, it's been, oh, there's, there's not going to be a twin. Just stop looking in that direction. It's not going to happen. And in season six, we got two instances of twins. So this is why one of the reasons I can't really love the show is because it's like or, or not love I mean this is one reason I can't say this is a, a awesome perfectly written show because yeah oh oh now there's twins uh, first there was the transgender twin uh, whose reveal I didn't really like it was it was just like how could she have you know the surgery you needed to change it's like it just didn't fucking add up it's like obviously she transitioned but it's like you can't get that fucking money there and and really good to it and then we find out that who we thought was Allison's twin was actually adopted and she did have a twin and that twin is now going with their mother to seek revenge on Allison so yeah oh it, so it's like oh okay we've got the twin theory covered holy fuck there's another twin is like everyone wouldn't be like twins by the end of the show. It's yeah, it was like no twin theory then, twin theory overload. So it's I did like this second twin reveal a hell of a lot better than the first one because this one, while it was the well, okay, who the fuck is gone? Okay, it. Because while the second twin reveal was the Oh, look how evil we are. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I was sort of laughing. They were all like, this, this is so fucking cheesy. But I can say it's just bad on a technical level, but it was, I, I liked it. That was a much better reveal. And while it might have been pulled out of the writer's ass, is that made a fuckload more of sense. And yeah, I just, I like that one more. Now, season six was broken down, you know, the part A, <laughs> part A ended, and then part B started five years later. And it was, it was an interesting concept. And uh, I love the Pretty Little Liars actors. I think you're fucking awesome. <laughs> Just, you're awesome. But 
um, you're not teenagers. So <laughs> five years forward actually made them go, okay, yeah, nowadays, now we can, we can pretend you're adults because that's much closer to your actual age. And you get caught up in twists and turns of how they lied about their lives. And yeah, it's, it, it was good. It was good on that technicality. <laughs> and there were a few instances of them going, oh, we're, we're not children anymore. And you know, now we're in high school, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> while still not always fully taking into account that, I don't know, I, I can't point anything specific out right now, but there were some points where I'm like, they've lived through this before. They have even said lines about how they dealt with this shit before, and yet they're making some mistakes that it's like they should not have made. But it, all in all, it was good. Uh, I like Spencer and um, Spencer and Toby together, and if they were broken apart. They had differences on you know, where they wanted to go in life. Caleb and Hannah were broken because again they just split, and I and it was you know heartbreaking, but. That's really how it is in life. If you're a teenager watching this it's, and you think you found your one true love in high school, chance there are stories of high school lovers staying together. And then there's the more common that you might not stay together. So this is actually pretty realistic of, you know, pe people just sometimes split. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is Ezria. Now, Ezria, I used to really fucking adore in the beginning of the series. But then there were just, like, too many instances of, Oh, they're, uh, they're breaking apart. Will they get back together? And then a few episodes, they get back together, and like, Yay! And then it became so common that I was like, Oh, no. They're, they're part, they're, they're, they're never, they're never going to get back together. And, yeah. But, I like the long Ezra break between Ezra and Arya. Because, it made you really feel like they weren't getting back together. Like, there were instances of, you know, they really still love each other, but they just won't. And... Yeah, that I love the season finale of they they finally get back together and just felt extremely natural. They, long story short, they wrote a book together and that book they got to work through their feelings, and yeah, it was it was romantic. It really flowed. It just was wasn't like, okay, we're back together and there's no other reason. It just seemed to flow extremely naturally. And yeah, there was a nice little sex scene there and ABC Family has changed the free form, so it's instances like those I'm like, this is pretty tame sex scene all around. But it was like, still, having that scene on a channel called ABC Family would have been fucking odd. So I'm just glad they're back together, and I hope that if they stay together, that they can keep up this momentum. They, Ezria has finally won me over again. I'm glad that it's back to normal, that it's, that the ship is worth sailing again. So my final thoughts on the Pretty Little Liars season six. It's it's good. It was a tad bit confusing in parts, but of course that's what you sign on for, for Pretty Little Liars. I'm just... God, they... This... It was a decent season. It wasn't, like, the most awesome, but there was more than one instance where I was really loving it. So, 
hopefully we have an even better season in store for season seven and we find out all this shenanigans that's going on and I really want Hannah to stay together with her fiance just it, it, it's just there's, there would be so much fucking drama and of course the cliffhangers like is Hannah going to die I, I fucking wonder do, do you watch this show Hannah's not going to fucking die <laughs> anyways what's your opinions about Pretty Little Liars season 6 comment below I'd love to start a nerdy conversation about this I have been Jashikin's owner at jashikins.blogspot.com now, I was gone for a little surprise trip from Monday to Friday. So some things that I planned to have out and completed weren't completed. But the next, the latest chapter, The Dawning and A Fateful Journey are both out. So, whoot, that is awesome. <laughs> Hopefully it's awesome. Hope I, I don't know if I could say anymore. But anyways, also on the sidebar of my blog, <coughs> sidebar thingy, and there's a poll, and once it closes, I'm going to start a new one because it got, like, no votes, and I want to, I can think of some cool, something cool, hopefully, and the dragon is still yet to be named, so, you know, do that. It will be awesome. I, I, again, I don't know what the fuck I can say. And finally, the links I'm going to mention are going to be down in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, Chronicles of Gaia, you know, the first chapter has been out for a little bit now. And I am getting to finish the second chapter, which hopefully will be finished in, <laughs> in around a week. Uh, you know, finish writing and editing. And... Remember, if you donate to my Patreon, you can view that chapter before it's fully released on the blog. And you can get into bonus chapters. And the, actually, next, the first bonus chapter will be after the chapter 2. So after chapter 2 is fully released, you know, you'll, you'll be able to view a full chapter of something not everyone will. You know, exclusive shit. And I do writing commissions on Fiverr. I have a Patreon that besides getting you bonus content and bonus content for Chronicles of Gaia helps support my blog. You get a monthly update on my upcoming ebooks. You get a 30 minute vlog. And every, for the initial week of my ebooks releases, you'll get the book for free. So, yay! Free is good! <laughs> and I, <laughs> I now have opened a cafe press shop, and every week there is a new design. And except for this week, there isn't a new design just because I wasn't doing any blog work and I like to put a little thought into my designs. Even if it doesn't always seem that way, that that's how I plan it. So until next video. Goodbye. <laughs>